What's good people, Rico here. Uh, I was just doing the uh, throttle body heater bypass on the M50 engine. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how to make it. As you guys already know, um, there is a line, this line, that goes to the bottom of the throttle body. And then this line actually is much longer than this. I just cut this off. I think it comes out like this. Um, it goes to this thing. And then there's another line that goes from... I think this side of the um, thermostat to another line that's right next to this that goes into the throttle body. So it's a like a long from here goes down here into this and then come out to the throttle body and goes from the throttle body to here or the other way around. And since I live in California and plus this is a race car, I will never need this uh, throttle body heater. So, I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to delete it. First of all, you need to buy this brass or a stainless steel or plastic, whichever one you want. This is a um, brass one, I believe. I uh, got it from Amazon. I ordered it yesterday and just got it to my house today. And this is a 3 8 elbow barb. And it goes right into this coolant hose. Yep, but we're not going to leave it there. So, what you're going to do right now is actually loosen this end, tilt it, or like at least loosen it till it can, you know, freely move around. And then, what I did is I cut this off. But right now, I'm actually going to cut a little bit more than that. Uh, I'm thinking cut off this line from here and twist this line. I think maybe... Uh, this way well one way or the other um, so it doesn't have so much overhang because the ideal way is to connect these two lines together like this and use the elbow to join them together yeah let's get it okay so what I'm gonna do here is hold on Um, work. I'm thinking this way should be the best. Uh, actually, I do have extra hose like this, so I might actually just um, cut an extra piece of hose and replace this completely. That actually might be a better idea, but just in case uh, that you don't have uh, an extra piece of coolant hose, what you can do is twist it this way, you know, bend it out like this, cut it off over here, and then, you know, use the elbow over here like this. That's what you can do, but ah, it's still in really good condition. So it's kind of be kind of bit of a shame. You know what, actually? Let me see. Let me see if the other way around will work. Ah! Yeah! Okay, this is perfect. So, I can just cut it off over here. You know, flip it first and cut it off over here. And then cut it off over here. Bam! Let's do that. So, I'm going to cut it off here first. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think this should be just fine. Let's trim up the edge a little bit. And now I'm just gonna cut it off over here. That should do it. Yep. 
Ooh, look at that. Damn near perfect. So I'm gonna leave a little bit more, um, you know, more room to begin with. And then I can trim it down little by little. Just give myself a little bit of room to make mistakes. Because if I fuck this up, I'd have to replace this whole assembly. And I don't want to do that. Now, let's see. That's a little bit too um, long. So let's trim down a little more. Yeah, that should do it. Overall, it's not a tight fit. So, uh, yeah, that's it. All I need to do right now is to tighten it up. And fingers crossed, hope it doesn't leak. I mean, I know it wouldn't, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? All right, there you go. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out all of my other videos. Thank you. Peace.